Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art. Thank you so much for joining me today. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties. I can't get my face camera to work today. So rather than make you wait any longer, I will just go ahead and we'll just have the desktop today. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Let me know you're here in the comments, whether you're live or watching the replay. Um, and don't forget to su subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow and like my Facebook page, Delight of My Art, if you haven't already. I also have tutorials via email and mystery stamping. Um, both of those are weekly, at least. In the Facebook group, Stamp with Delight, there are links to join the email list and the Facebook group in the description here under the video. But today we are doing the January Sweet and Simple card class. And we have three different designs. And you can get this whole class packet for free when you place an order in my online store. Orderwithdeb.com is where you'd find that. And any $35 or more purchase will get you the whole class packet for free. You'll get uh, pre-cut pieces for two of each of these three cards. And then um, they'll be packaged and bubble wrapped, uh, sent to you with some cardboard backing so that they arrive safely to you. If you if your order is over $50, you'll also be getting a free embellishment. The one that I have picked out oops, is this pastel adhesive backed sequins. So if your order is over 50, you'll get this in your class packet as well. We also do a live version of this. So I will be hosting the class tonight. I'm having a little bit of uh, leg on the internet. Maybe that's why my other um, screen is not working, but we'll go ahead and jump in. The two stamp sets that we will be using today is the Country Boutique and the Thanks a Bunch, which is a free celebration set. You can earn this for free with any $50 purchase. So if you wanted to earn this for free so that you could play along with this class, all you'd have to do is maybe purchase this stamp set here and maybe a couple ink pads or some adhesives. And then you'd also get this stamp set for free, the thanks a bunch, and then the entire class packet and the free embellishment. So come along and let's get started here. So these two stamp sets and the ink pads that we are using today are Sweet Sorbet, Pumpkin Pie, Granny Apple Green, and Mossy Meadow. So just four, four colors for these three different designs. And let's go ahead and get started on the first one. So the first one is using the Country Boutique. I love that we are friends. This one's really sweet. I did get inspired by somebody uh, else online and I neglected to write down her name. I apologize, but I thought this card was really cute and nicely done. I changed mine just a little bit, but they're about the same. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is pull out all of the pieces. You In your packet, you'll have pieces for two of these. So here's the first one, and then we're going to put this one together. Uh, together. <laughs> So you'll have your envelope there. We'll be stamping on that. And here's all of your pieces. There's something special in this packet. We have a piece of the Stampin' Up! masking paper right here. This is just about a third of a sheet and it has a little um, cut mark on the back here like this. And so you'll be able to peel that off and stick. It's like a big sticky sheet, like a um, sticky note, but you can stamp on the side that doesn't have that cut mark. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to be using this a couple different ways for masking, but also for um, ease of punching. Now let me show you on the DSP that is the Country Boutique DSP that goes with along with the stamp set. You'll be getting these, well getting these three pieces in your little kit here. This one is able to be punched using the Country Bouquet Punch here. Um, unfortunately, I just realized that this 
has already um, sold completely out and that will not be replenished until about April. And so um, if you already own this, perfect. And if you don't, you can always fussy cut this heart. We're only using this big heart here, right here on the card. And so it's included. It's just going to be um, a little bit harder to cut it rather than punch it. But I'll go ahead and show you how I would use this punch. And you can purchase that again in April when it becomes available again, hopefully sooner, but we'll see. Um, but I'll show you, see, this paper is going to be difficult to put into the punch. And that's why I'm going to show you this masking paper trick. All right, so I'll go ahead and put these pieces off to the side for just a second. So we have this piece and if we open up our punch, again with punches, when they open, you have this part that opens like this and you squeeze on this side, you're gonna put your paper in the opposite side. It looks like it's the part that's closed and people often will try to put the, the paper in this side. It actually goes in this side. But as you can see, if I'm putting it in here and I'm looking through the little window here, there's nothing to hold on to because I cut the paper so small. Um, so we're going to use our masking paper as a tool. So I'm just going to peel away the back. And I'm using the side that has the little cut here, right here like this. I'm just going to peel this little corner back and just kind of fold that little backing down a little bit like this. And I'm going to stick this to the corner of my DSP where the design is not, like this. So now I have a handle to put this into the punch without wasting any paper. I love this tip because it helps me to not have to cut, you know, extra paper to hang on to for DSP or anything, um, or if you have a piece of white that you've stamped on. Look at that. It's perfectly punched out all these little pieces and we didn't waste any DSP. I love that. And we can reuse this. I'm just going to stick the backing back on there. Look at that. So we'll save this for another card coming up too. So now we have all of our little pieces. And again, if you don't own the punch, you can just cut these out and just cut out the big heart. That's the only one we're using on this one, but definitely save this cute little, these little pieces for another card. All right, so we have our heart now and this piece is just scrap. And we're going to be making the card like this. What I should have done is measure things so I could tell you what they are. So I will do that on camera here. All right, so we've got a regular card base. This is balmy blue, eight and a half by five and a half, scored in half at four and a quarter. And we'll just give that a burnish with the old bone folder. Again, a staple in the craft room. If you don't have a bone folder, get yourself one because this will make all of your creases just really nice and crisp. So we have that. Then we have this piece, which is four by five and a quarter. And I'll just confirm on all these pieces with my handy little six inch ruler. I love this thing. I use it every single day. All right, yes, four inches by five and a quarter. This is Poppy Parade. I'm sorry, Sweet Sorbet. Sweet Sorbet. And now we have the DSP pieces. This is just a little bit shorter this way. So I believe it's just an eighth shorter. I'll just confirm here. Three and um, seven eighths. And that's tall ways. It is three and a quarter. And if you purchase this class or get it for free with a purchase, you'll be getting a printable PDF emailed to you also. So this piece right here, you can either write down the directions as you're watching here, or you can get the printable ones that I will send to you. This is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And so we just layer these right on this piece. Now we don't want to glue the red piece onto the card base yet because we will be wrapping some ribbon around the back. So, but we can glue these pieces on now. I've got an extra glue handy in case this one were to run out. Oh, look, it's running real nice now. It was not acting nice earlier. 
That's funny. Usually it's the opposite, right? You go on camera and everything that was working perfectly is suddenly deciding not to work. <laughs> like our camera today. Hey, look at this. I even put a nice sweater on for you. I did my hair and my face. And the camera's like, nope, I just used it yesterday. Same settings. I didn't even close the, the window. <laughs> of course, it's funny. Technical difficulties. I love technology. I do love technology. I'm, I'm thankful that we can even get together this way, right? All right, so then y'all take your piece of ribbon. This is part of this suite. This is a combo pack. Um, let me see what the name of this one is, actually. I think it's like burlap. It's called burlap. It's part of a bundle, um, bundle ribbon, and it comes with this real red little quarter inch one. Oh, my. There we are. I don't know why I'm getting a video lag here. So here's our ribbon combo pack. I'm going to use this one on this card. And it will come right in there. So on the back of this, I will get to my stamp and seal. And right where that seam is, I'm going to turn it over and just run a little bit of seal along that seam so that when I put my ribbon on the front I can just wrap it to the back and it will just stick down actually before I stick it all the way down I am going to just run a little bit on the front here to tack it down on the front side because we're going to be sticking our sentiment layer there and if you just stick it to the ribbon if it's not stuck down then your whole um, so greeting will kind of float around a little bit. All right, so we have that. Now we can put this down flat on the front of the card. And you can use your seal or your liquid glue. I do prefer liquid glue just for the wiggle room. Unless it's acting up and then I'll just reach for whatever's handy. If you're watching live, I'd love for you to say hi. I see a couple of people watching, but I don't know who you are but I love when you share or like or share hearts or whatever. Okay, so here we have this cute little heart that will just tuck right in there like that. We can add that in just a second. We also should have a label piece in here. I did do a label piece, right? Did we lose it? We might have lost our little label piece. Oh no. Okay, in yours, you'll have a label piece. <laughs> and here's the inside of the card anyway. And I might just have to cut another one of these. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I swear that was in there. Anyway, I'll make sure that the ones that ship out will have all of the pieces. That's why I do it on camera first before I, before I send these out. And we have our class tonight too. So I'm making sure that all the pieces are here. All right, so on the inside piece here, we'll just go ahead and stamp this cute little flower in the corner and do the same with the envelope like that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Got our sweet sorbet and our cute little flower. This way you can have this card really mean whatever you'd like because it just says, I love that we are friends on the front. It could be a birthday card. It could be um, a hello card or just really anything. So this piece will go on the inside. Again, this piece is four inches by five and a quarter. And this little label piece that I'm missing is from the Stylish Shapes dies. I love these little stitch shapes. Again, those, again, have been so popular. They are out of stock until February, mid-February. So, oh, it just goes to show you, if, this, if you see something you like, go ahead and snag it and buy it right away because it might go on um, unorderable for a little while, especially this seasonal stuff like this heart. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and pretend that I stamped on this little label. Here, let me show you 
what that whole die set looks like. See if I can reach it real fast. Here it is. Okay. This is the Stylish Shapes dies, and I used this one right here, the bigger one here. And the next card, I used this little one, <laughs> this one right here. And if you look closely, you'll see that these are stitched on both the outer and inner side of the cut. So if you were cutting a window into your card, the border around your window would also have the stitched uh, look on it as well as the piece that you cut out, which is really cool of them to figure out how to do. Okay, I'll just put that back over there. And on this part, uh, if you are getting this at home, you can put whatever embellishments you want on there or wait for the free ones to come. When you order over $50, you can earn this whole packet of embellishments for free which is worth $8. All right, so I will go ahead and put a big one and a little blue one on this heart here. I thought that looked really cute. And we just stamped this same greeting in that sweet sorbet. So we'll just, I'll just finish that later for the picture, but just know that uh, I will be including that label in your class there. Let's go ahead and move forward to the next card. And we'll keep our little um, masking paper handy. I don't think we need it for the next one, but we will for the third one. Okay, so this one is using the same stamp set, but we're using some free celebration paper. The, what is this one called? Favored Flowers, I believe. Yes, Favored Flowers. I love this one. This one was top of my list. I love the black background. It just pops with um, you know colors uh, over the front. And again, this one is, oh, it's this way. Um, just wanted to say, and you can say anything on the inside. So that leaves it really open for whatever you'd like to put in there. Happy Valentine's Day or happy birthday, or just wanted to say, I'm so sorry for your loss. I mean, this card could go either way because it's, it's kind of a nice, bold, but um, versatile card. Okay, so this card is going to use Mossy Meadow for the ink color and that's it. And here's all of our pieces. So we have a card base here. This is 11 inches by four and a quarter scored in half at five and a half. And we've got our envelope here. I'll set that aside. We've got all of these little pieces and I'll explain all of those in just a second. So we'll go ahead and fold and burnish with my bone folder. On the front here, we have a piece of Fresh Freesia. This card base is Fresh Freesia, and this one was embossed with the Cane Weave 3D embossing folder. Isn't that pretty? So this one should be four inches by five and a quarter. And then this piece of Blackberry Bliss that will go on top of that is three inches by four and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of the DSP here that is two and three quarters, is that right? Yes, by four. So we just get to glue all of that together, nice and easy. And we have a piece of the Fresh Freesia Open Weave ribbon. And we just do our greeting on this little piece right here. And on the inside and the envelope, we just have this little sprigs in the same green. So let's go ahead and glue all of this together. There's my glue. If you're watching live, let me know what celebration item is top on your list, or if you've gotten one already, or a couple already, let me know what you have and what you're really liking right now. Okay, there's our cane weave layer. We'll put these together. You could pop this up on dimensionals, I guess, um, this whole double panel. But since the greeting was on dimensionals, I didn't want to make it too thick. See here, it's doing what it was doing before. Sometimes it just gets a little finicky. There it goes. Okay. 
and we'll just put that flat. Just like that. And then we will go ahead and do our stamping. Just wanted to say on this little label, And while we have the ink out, let's go ahead and do our inside and our envelope. So we have this little sprig here in the same stamp set. And we're just going to put that off in the corner here. Like that. And then in the corner of the envelope. Can't leave your inside and the envelope naked, right? Here we go, done with this ink. We can add this piece. Let's see, put this off to the side there like this. We'll put this on the inside here. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I did it. Top opening. You can open from the side or from the top. Let's see. Come on, glue. I need one of those glue holders that just holds it upside down. Okay, there's our inside. This is coming along quite nicely. On the back of our little panel here, I'm just going to run a little bit of seal. And then while I'm looking at it on the front, I'll just go ahead and do a little wiggle with my ribbon. So stick it, kind of bend it down, bend it back up. And if you don't like where it is, you can kind of peel it up and re-stick it so that it will come off and then re-stick without any damage. Once you have it where you like it, you can just go ahead and snip the ends off. It looks good. And then we'll add dimensionals on the back. Put my lid on my glue before it decides to not work on me. All right, so I'm going to add one on each side plus one in the middle. Keep it really secure. And then we'll take the backing off of those and stick that on the card and add our sequins. These are nice, quick and easy cards. They shouldn't take a super long time. This is the reason for the sweet and simple stamping card class, because I want it to be nice and easy for you to make really beautiful cards. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my sequins again. Again, you can use whatever embellishments that you have at home or earn these for free. I'll take my take your pick tool and I'm going to add a big gold one to the bottom here and then maybe another big gold one over here and then a little gold one right there. Okay, so we are good with this card. It is all done and we have two of those. On to the third card. Where did I put my other ones? Okay, so the third card is using one of our, another one of our free celebration choices, which is the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. I thought this one's really cute. And here are the pieces for that. And we'll be using, oh, see, this is the same little label piece from the other one. Do I have two in here, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll just use this one on this one. All right, so I've got a deckled edge rectangle here. I think this is one of the medium sized ones. And I've got a little bit of twine here. That's that in color twine, that light, light green color. What is that color called? I thought I'd be using more of this color, but I haven't really, but I think it is really nice and it really goes well with the granny apple green, which I use constantly. So here is another free celebration choice. This is that $100 
freebie, the paper. There's so much paper in this pack. There's 48 sheets of 12 by 12. And I've seen so many people using this pattern on their cards with the carrots. So I'll go ahead and tell you the dimensions on all of this. This is a mango melody sheet, eight and a half by four and a quarter, scored in half, or five and a half, scored in half, but at four and a quarter, you know, half a sheet. So that's that. This is the piece that we'll be stamping on, on the deckled rectangle. This piece is five and a half tall by, I you held my ruler correctly, three inches. So that just gets glued right on the edge there. Nice and easy. And then this piece of granny apple green is just a little bit bigger than our deckled rectangle here. Three and an eighth um, by, let's see, by four and a half. So that will be going centered this way, but off to the right. Does that make sense? And then we've got our little label for the words. And we need our inside piece and envelope at the end. All right, let's do some stamping. Excuse me as I sneak my chair in closer so I can do a good job here. Okay, so we've got two more stamp sets or stamp pads, pumpkin pie and granny apple green. And here is where we're going to be using this masking paper again. So I'm going to stamp the carrot. Let's move this up here so we can all see. So this is my masking paper, right? So I've got the, the little cut mark on this side. I'm going to stamp on the opposite side. So I'm turning this over and I'm going to stamp the carrot on the masking paper. And I just want a little bit. I don't want to have too much off the edge. I only need the top part. Like that. So we're going to just, I know we're going to fussy cut, but you can reuse this piece and stick it in your stamp set and use it over and over again. We're just going to cut around the top, which is basically all we need. I mean, you can just cut the rest of this off. It doesn't really matter. So here's our piece and we will be peeling off the back of this. So this is now a little sticky uh, masking piece for us. I will go ahead and stick that off to the side for a second. And we will stamp some carrots on our deckled piece. Now on the other card, I did full strength. And I think I'm going to stamp off on this one. So let me get a piece of scrap paper here. I'm going to stamp off and just do a bunch. Since it says thanks a bunch, we want a bunch of carrots on here. So I'm going to put them kind of looking like they're stuck in a bunch. Oops, this stuck to me. <laughs> Since we stamped off, when we do the little shadow, I'll put this here. <laughs> when we do the shadow part, this is kind of a shadow to the carrot. When we do this part, um, now we'll be able to see it a little bit better. The trick of lining this up is to get the tip lined up. And if it's off a little bit, it's okay. Okay. That's cute. All right, so there's our carrots. They look pretty real. All right, I'm going to get this little spriggy one. There's a couple different leaves in this stamp set, but I'm going to use this one. And this is where our mask comes in. So I'll go ahead and put it on this first one. Just line it up with the carrot. Like so. Get our granny apple green down here. And we can stamp right over the top of this mask, right? So we'll go ahead and stick it. I'm going to have it be bushier than my other one. I'm going to have to be kind of all over the place. 
have one go down a little further, maybe a stamped off one like that. And then we can move it on to the next one. And I can see that we put the stem on there, but it's not as long as the stamp actually is. We didn't have to make it so tall. We could have it be closer to the carrot. So that's the reason for this mask. So I'll go ahead and do this one. Maybe a stamped off one. That's cute. And then we'll just move that over. Actually, if we even wanted to, watch this. With photopolymer, you can bend your stamps. So I can have this one kind of winging off way to the right. Look at that. Oh, the stem is just bending. <laughs> and then I'll straighten it back out again. So there's our leafy bits on the top of the carrot. That's so cute. All right, so that will go straight onto this panel. Let's go ahead and glue all these down for a second and then we'll come back and do the rest of our stamping for the inside and the envelope and our greeting. We just finished up mystery stamping yesterday. If you're not part of our group Stamp with Delight, I would love for you to join. It's free to play along and free to join. It's just a lot of fun. Um, give you all your directions on Mondays and then on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern we just get together and you can do this worldwide because I'm not I'm not selling anything you don't have to buy anything in order to play along so a lot of fun just um, playing along with your own stamp sets at home the link to join that is in the description next week actually I think I'll probably have to go mystery stamping on Thursday because I won't be available on Wednesday. All right, so that is so cute. I like this one better. What do you think? This one has the darker carrots. You can vary your colors and use different inks, but um, you can see the shading on this one. But this one's kind of fun because you get the two different ones. Which one do you like better? All right, I'll put this one on. Come on, glue. There, I know there's more in there. All right, now let's go ahead and do our final stamping. So we've got our envelope, we've got our inside piece, and we've got our sentiment panel. We'll get our inks back out. Pumpkin pie, granny apple green. We need thanks a bunch. And the tiny little carrot and the tiny little sprig. All right, so I'm going to do thanks in green at the top of this. And I like that these are photopolymer so I can see through it. Thanks. And then a bunch in the orange pumpkin pie. And if it sticks to your block, you just stick your finger under there and it will pop right off. All right, so we're gonna add that with some dimensionals. Before we do that, we'll just use these inks that are open. Here's my inside panel. And I think I said, there's no one quite like you. Yes. So there's that one. This is part of that Thanks a Bunch stamp set. And I'm gonna do this in the green. There's no one quite like you. And I'll go ahead and do my tiny little carrots. These are so cute. Look at this, right off to the side here like this. And this little sprig on the top. Isn't that cute? So cute. And we'll just go ahead and do those same little carrot bunch on the corner of the envelope here. Let's see, we'll have it facing this way. All 
There we go. We're done with our stamping. Now we can just add our greeting here and our bow. So I'll open this up, put this piece in. And again, you'll be doing double, so you get two of each card. You like the card I just did, Kim? Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I think I do too. It just shows the, the shadows a little bit better. But again, you can use all sorts of different colors. I've seen people doing purple carrots because there are purple carrots. You get yellow and white kind of carrots. And so you can get like real creative with this stamp set. I've seen, I mean, and especially with this saying, there's no one quite like you. You could have a whole row of orange ones and then stick a purple one in there. That'd be kind of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and add our little bow here with a glue dot. I forgot to tell everybody coming tonight that they need one glue dot. <laughs> just one. I'll just give it to them. That'll be fine. All right, so here's our little bow, and we need to add our greeting panel, which I maybe shoved somewhere. There it is. With some dimensionals. we put two on the back there. kind of off-center a little bit, kind of balances out because the panel's on the right and now the greeting's on the left, it kind of balances out the feeling and the weight of the card. Now we'll just add a few more sequins and this card is done too. I'm loving these sequins. I'm, you can see I've been using a bunch of them. All right, so here's a big one down here and a little one. I like to do three always, um, groups of three. And if you make a triangle on the card, it kind of gives it a good sprinkling. If you don't do a triangle, I would do three right in a row, like one, two, three, or um, something like that. But if you did kind of like a, um, a smaller triangle is better than like a big triangle or like an even evenly spaced or something or in a line this is like a two of them are closer together and one is a little bit further apart it seems to just kind of flow a little bit better all right there is our final card again you have until the end of next thursday which is the 26th i believe to place an order in my online store that's orderwithdeb.com in order to get all of these packets uh, shipped to you for free to do. So here is all of our cards. Let's see, we got two of these. I wish I could show you my face and say uh, hello. Thank you for watching. And I am here. It's just my camera wasn't working today. <laughs> but here's all of our pretty cards. Um, I would love to ship one out to you. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a, uh, a chat here on Facebook or reach out to me on email. I am at DebJoySmeek at delightofmyart.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure that you join my email there and the Facebook group for mystery stamping and um, place an order with me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend.